Hey guys, welcome back. So I recently posted on Instagram kind of asking what sort of content you guys are interested in seeing this month. And so many of you said plant shopping videos. And I am thrilled that many of you said plant shopping because as you know, I love doing some plant shopping. So that is what this video is going to be today. Now, I wasn't really sure where to go today. And I asked on Instagram and a lot of you mentioned Malone's. Based on their Instagram, it looks like they may have some rare plants just kind of randomly in stock. So I'm excited to see that. And after Malone's, I'm going to check check out Grow Charlotte. I have not been there in forever and they always have a surprising selection of plants, usually some rare stuff as well. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This channel is for crazy plant people. I am a crazy plant person and proud. So if that brings a smile to your face, you may want to subscribe. I do post about twice a week and the only way to not miss a video is for it to show up in your newsfeed. For that to happen, you would need to subscribe. Now I am also on Instagram and I have about 7,000 followers right now. And when I get to 10, I think I'm gonna do an amazing giveaway like a super nice plant if you are interested in that maybe give me a follow on instagram as well and as you guys know a lot of plants these days have a pretty hefty price tag going on especially some of these uncommon house plants so a big big thank you to our sponsor for this video skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community and they have thousands of classes that cover all types of skills. It's such an amazing resource to explore more for existing passions like plant classes or new creative skills. It's a great place to fuel your curiosity because you can look up any kind of skill you're interested in learning more about. There are so many classes that I have found and love. Recently, I found myself wishing I knew more about taking really great photos on my iPhone and how to edit them. I learned so much from Dale McManus's class iPhone photography, how to take pro photos on your iPhone. I loved every section of this class and have watched it multiple times. It has everything you need to know about taking professional looking photographs on your iPhone and also explains how to edit them. The sections about macro photography, editing, and making portraits pop were exceptionally helpful. I also loved the classes about houseplants and plant care, of course. Skillshare is actually very affordable and they are always launching new ad-free classes. A premium membership is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity and choose any class that you want to check out. So big shout out and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Their support is invaluable in enabling me to provide content for you guys. So I'm here at Malone's, like I said, my first stop. I'm ready to go in there and, and do a little relaxing plant shopping. So sit back, relax, and, uh, and let's see what Malone's has for plants. All right, actually I'm gonna do the opposite of what I normally do. And I'm gonna start with the rare uncommon plants. Um, as you can see, their nursery is massive and they have so many different um, like tropicals and common plants um, at great prices, wonderful selection. And I usually start with that, but I just feel like starting with this amazing stuff today. So these will be, you know, more expensive, but it's cause there's so much demand and limited supply. I am shocked there aren't 100 people here. I think if people knew that um, all of these plants were here right now, that they would definitely be here. So I'm, I'm excited though that I'm able to have some selection here to show you guys. So I'm definitely gonna be having a haul. <laughs> I always do my haul at the end of this video. As you can see, there are a ton of beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Um, I'll be just be kind of picking them up gently here. So here we have a Hoya macrophylla. Now these are all Hoya macrophyllas, they are 55. I have this plant, it's a great fast growing Hoya in my experience. The leaves are really beautiful. They have that interesting kind of texture to them. Um, yeah, just a really cool easy care Hoya. So here we have some Hoya Sunrise. This is a fast grower in my experience, $45. And it's called Hoya Sunrise because um, once the leaves mature and given enough light, they will kind of get a sunrisey color on the outsides of the leaves. Here we have some cute little Hoya Carii. They are 35. Hoya Matil, these are 70. 
Uh, they are just the cutest little leaves. I believe these are a mix of carnosa and serpents. Lots of cute little new growth happening here. Adorable. Now look at this. This is Hoya rotundiflora. Look at the shape of these leaves. I just love it. That is so unique. Um, all right, this is a maybe. We also have some Hoya birdsonae. These are 40. Hoya latensis. These are 50. There's a lot to show, so I'm kind of just gonna keep plowing through here. Ooh, Hoya caudata sumatra. Look how beautiful these leaves are. I love that they're dark. They have some speckled stuff, and then they also have a little bit of interesting shape on the outsides of the leaves. Sort of serrated looking. I don't know if you can see it. These are all Hoya caudata sumatra. Look, they do have some fishtail. This is on my wish list. I'll probably be getting one of these today. Aren't they awesome? It's very apparent why they are called fishtail Hoyas. Um, the leaves look like fishtails. It's a Shidia variegated million hearts, $10. Hoya meliflua, 50. Big leaf there, 30. Black margins here, 45. Pente for 40. Amazing. Hoya imperialis. This one is 50. Wow. Back here we have um, some philodendron by Penifolium aurea. These are 45. Such, such bright, beautiful leaves. These beautiful maharanis over here are 25. Lots of Shangri-La here. Epipremnum Shangri-La, these are 30. These gorgeous jewel orchids. They are 45. They also have some variegated whale fin over here. They are 60. What kind is this? Macaulay's Finale. Pretty little orchid just hanging out here. String of turtles, this one is 45. Wow, look at these jewel orchids. They are 45 and they're pretty big. Nice, sturdy, nice, healthy growth. Yes, Bob C and it is 55. Have some cute little ficus lirata. These are 25. Look, oh my gosh, it's a really pretty plowmanii. <gasps> this is a wish list plant. It's a nice size one. It's a hundred dollars. Ah, that's a maybe. Gosh, so many wishless plants. I can't even. Wow, look at this. Anthurium crystallinum. It's 150. Look at that leaf. It's so shimmery and shiny. So we have back here. Philodendron de cursiva. It's 20. Once these leaves mature, they actually get some pretty fenestrations. Wow, look at this one. Fat boy! <laughs> I recognized it from my philodendron video. The anthurium back there. I don't know if those are Peru or Panatum. Ooh, look guys, variegated banana tree. 500, they have some philodendron pink princess hanging out. It is 325. Looks like a Waroquinum. I don't see a price on there. Gorgeous Monstera Albo. 600. Look at those leaves. That one back there is a, what's that called? A half moon? All right. So there are, oh my gosh, look at this um, Syngonium Albo leaf. That is so pretty. These are 90. And then we have the Pink Splash Syngonium, which is one of my favorites right now. It is 90, and can I just say, <laughs> look at these Hoyas, the size of that leaf. That is very, very tempting. I just don't know if it will put out new growth. I know with Carrie Eye, sometimes it won't, um, if it's just the one leaf, so I'm not sure. Hoya Sarawax, 150. Here we have some Brantianum, it's 65. 
Then we have a really cool Hoya Imbricata 75. These Monstera Dubia are 65 back here. Some String of Hearts, 15. Skindapsis Moonlight, 45. Some Cebu Blues, 60. Ooh, Florida Ghost, <laughs> Wishlist Plans, 100. That's a maybe. It's another one. This is Alocasia Chint Chintrii 140. They have a bunch of beautiful philodendron BSEAs. They are 190. And then philodendron gloriosums over here. They are 160. Oh, look at these Thai constellations. They are 150. And then we have a Dark Lord philodendron here. This philodendron Dark Lord is all the rage and it is 150. Some cute little orchids here. Here you have some whale fin Sansevieria. These are 60, they're a nice size. These are philodendron micans and they're staked and everything. Really nice size leaves, they are 70. This Vanda orchid has the most beautiful blooms on it. Gorgeous. Here we have loads of micans, and these micans are $20. A lot of them are trailing really healthy, beautiful plants. Um, some Hoya carnosa compacta over there, they are 20. Wow. Neon pothos, watermelon peperomias. Most of these are about $10, $15 or less. Some ZZs, Calathea orbifolia, Alocasia bambino over there, Marantas, Philodendron Brazil, so, so nice. Loads of beautiful bromeliads, just obsessed. Ridiculously gorgeous colors. Love it so much. Here we have some ficus tenicae. They are 25. And some really nice begonias. Look at those fuzzsters. Uh, I think I've reached my limit on what I can get today with my uh, <gasps> rare plant purchases. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to show you guys. A lot of them are wishless plants. Here we have some spider plants and some sort of philodendron. Maybe, oh gosh, I'm, I don't know what kind. Um, they are 20. Golden pothos, sort of philodendron. I think this is called holly fern. Gorgeous aglionema. Peperomia ripple. Look at that beautiful philodendron, dark foliage. Lemon Lime Marantas here. I think these are all 20. Here we have Calatheas, a whole, whole assortment. <gasps> wow, look at these really vibrant Tradescantia Nanook. Staghorn Ferns. Looks like maybe two different varieties. They are 20. Pilea Peperomioides. Little Fiddles. All sorts of nice stuff. Oh look, there are some Raven ZZs here as well. They are 30. Crocodile plants, nice stuff. Some beautiful Sansevieria. They always have a wonderful assortment. Um, I'm not, I don't know a lot of the names of the different Sansevieria. I think this one is really cool. It kind of looks and feels a bit like a whale fin, but it's not. It's more like a bird's nest. I'm not sure. It's uh, 20 though. And then there's some moonshine, some Laurentis over there. 
Cylindrica. Nice. I spotted some ficus umbrellata down here. They are 25, which is a great deal for these. Such beautiful, massive plants. I mean, look at this colocasia. Just stunning. Look how beautiful and big that leaf is. I love the dark foliage of it. So nice. Um, they have a bunch of different varieties, it looks like. Over here in the little like terrarium section where they have some other little terrarium plants and carnivorous plants, there are some plug Hoyas over here, um, which is nice that we can get a, a Hoya. Some of them are, are pretty uncommon as well. Um, and you can, you know, kind of get one started for an affordable rate, which is awesome. Looks like there's Shepardii, the green bean Hoya, um, Rattusa. <laughs> this one looks like it might be a little, um, Sunrise Hoya, perhaps, not sure though. Some variegated Kensiana maybe. Um, ooh, not sure what kind this is. The leaves feel thin, it doesn't, I don't think it's a Crimson Princess. This one looks like it might be Chelsea. There's some cool ones here, you know, if you wanted to poke through and see what you could find. So as most of you know, Malone's has a ton of cacti. Um, so it's always fun to kind of poke through and see what they have. A lot of them are little smaller ones. And I noticed they have some paper spine cacti, which are a, a lot of fun. Um, and then they have this kind, which I don't have actually. It's kind of interesting pine cone cactus. I think that's what it's called actually, is a type of pine cone cactus. So, you know, I don't, I don't ever see those around. That's kind of a good find. Some rickrack, Madagascar palm. I mean, a lot of these are $15, $20. Fantastic rates. And hard to find plants as well, so beautiful. Wow, look at these. <gasps> They're so cute. I have not seen these kind before. Oh my gosh, I cannot go buying a whole bunch of cacti today. Those are a nice find. Wow, look at these cute little variegated peace lilies. They have kind of hiding out over here with some nice variegation. Some nice variegation on these. These are $20, oh my gosh. If you are looking for succulents, Malone's has just thousands of them and they are $2 each. Great find. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It was so crazy. I can't believe no one was there. They had so many rare plants. It's usually jam-packed. I don't think anybody knew. So I did go ahead and post it on Instagram in advance on my story, just so that anybody in the Charlotte area, if they wanna go by there and pick up some plants, they could. I got so many wishlist plants. I cannot wait to share what I got with you guys. But before I do my plant haul, I am here at Grow Charlotte. I'm at their Camp North End location. So I'm just gonna pop in, do a quick shop around. Um, so we have a little bit more plant shopping and then I'll show you guys my I just pulled up and look they're closed oh I didn't realize they're closed on Tuesdays I didn't realize they're closed on Tuesdays so that is my bad I'm definitely gonna come back because I really want to see what plants they have so I'm gonna do a quick pop by at Cactus Club and see what they have going on all right let's go all right let's take a look and see what we have going on here today Ficus umbrellata, some cute little peperomias. This is Imperial Green. They are $14. Rojo Congo is $12. Beautiful, maybe silver stripe. Philodendron. These philodendron are 
Super Atten. They are 42. Then we have some Mikans going on. Really cute angel wing begonias. <gasps> Look at these cacti. So nice. Absolutely massive, beautiful Mexicanum. Here we have some Alocasia Sarian. They are 42. Look at the size of these leaves. So nice. Some Moonshine Sansevieria. Wow, looks like we got some cool stuff here. All right, Hoya Sunrise, they, they are 50. That's a great deal, actually, wow. Um, and Therium Vecchia, get out! 60, that is the best deal ever. I mean, they don't have the ribbing on there yet, but just a little bit of time. $60, look at the new growth on there. Wow, that's amazing. Hoya Patricia. Patricia 105. That's a really neat leaf. Hoya Bertsene. Ooh, here we have some Philodendron Silver Stripe. They are 68. Raphidophora Hayi, they are 48. Oh, Pepperoni, a pink lady. I've been wanting to get another one. Maybe I should. It's a nice size one for 28. Okay, I might get that one. Mine didn't make it. <laughs> I killed it off. Monstera Dubia, 100. Nice size one. Million Hearts to Shidia, they are 20. Decursiva, 36. Wow, look at these. I believe these are Lisa, yes. Australis Lisa. The small ones are 10 and the larger size one is 48. Some really pretty bipinifolium here. This looks like maybe a McDowell. Frosted Heart Syngonium. Anthurium Eorium 165. Monstera Pinipartita. It is 40. Hmm, that's kind of tempting actually. Philodendron 69686. It is 220. Some Sissus Discolor here, 38. Here we have some Anthurium Water Fairy Anor. <laughs> They're 160, look how beautiful they are. My goodness. Then we have a fantastic Wara Queenum here, a really nice size one. She is 495. Look at those dark leaves, so stunning. Some forgetty eye over here, they are 140. This massive philodendron here is a royal queen. Look how beautiful, I love that dark foliage. All right guys, what a fantastic day. I just got home and I'm gonna show you my plant haul from today. I am absolutely in love with the plants that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start with the Hoyas. So here is the first Hoya that I got. It is a fishtail Hoya or a Hoya polyneura. And this plant has been a wish list for a long, long time. It is called a fishtail Hoya because the leaves look like fishtail, but as you can see, they have like the really pretty lines in there and it will just become more and more fishtail-like. I picked this one because it has new growth happening. Um, I always try to find plants that have new growth, even if they're a little bit smaller. If they have new growth, I do try to go for them. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. I love the color of these. I'm so glad I finally, finally got one of these. Um, they've always been sold out. So the other Hoya that I got is this really, really cool one. It is a Hoya Rotundiflora. And 
uh, I just love the shape of these leaves. As you know with Hoya, they will start to like shoot out a vine and then put leaves on it and I can't wait to see a nice vine of this. Maybe make it a trailing Hoya. I think that would look really cool with these shape leaves. Isn't that awesome? I just think it's the coolest looking Hoya. Um, I was surprised that they had these. I've never seen one of these in person before. And side note, I'm really feeling this type of soil that they have. It has all sorts of cool pumice and orchid bark and all sorts of good stuff in there. A lot of people have asked why I'm keeping my plants in the nursery pots. I do try to keep them in the nursery pots as long as possible so that they get acclimated. Um, and a lot of the plants that I'm buying are in appropriately sized pots. Next up is a wishlist plant I've been wanting for a long time and it is an Anthurium crystallinum. Isn't it so beautiful? I have eyed this one forever and ever and ever um, and I went for it today. So as you can see, this is the newest leaf. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful plant? Um, I'm gonna stick this one right in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet because my anthuriums love it in there. So beautiful. And the reason I picked this one out is because it has some new growth happening there, as you can see at the base of the stem. You know, anthurium, they have that beautiful, like sparkly, silvery veining. As you can see with the second leaf, it is not fully mature yet. Um, so we'll see if it gets any bigger in my greenhouse cabinet. Uh, I love when they mature and they get that like dark, dark signature anthurium color. So absolutely stunning. I'm so, so happy to have one of these. Um, my anthurium collection is slowly growing. They're hard to find and <laughs> they are very expensive. So yeah, today was very much over budget, but worth it. All right, so the last one that I got that I am crazy excited about is a Dark Lord philodendron. Yes, I went ahead and got it. I absolutely love, love, love philodendrons. And this one is very, very high in demand. It's absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's just a very dark foliage plant, which I'm a big fan of. This one has some exciting new growth coming out. And look at the size of that stem. Gem. Um, I think with like the right conditions, it has aerial roots happening. Um, this one could get massive. So I'm going to put it on maybe a plank or something and, and let it go ahead and grow and get some of those really big leaves. If you guys have any care instructions or tips for any of the plants that I got today, please, please, please leave them in the comments. I always super appreciate any of your like care tips and that kind of thing. Um, also leave a comment and let me know what plants you would have picked out today. You know, if you had unlimited dollars, you know, what plants would you have chosen? I always love to hear that. Even though I went over budget today, big, big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Um, I greatly appreciate them partnering with me. Check out their link in my description below. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming videos and look me up on Instagram. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye!